Hello, this is Dawn from Creative Apple Case. This video will show you how to find your designs you have purchased, download them to your computer, unzip the file, and then add them to your USB stick. This video is for PC users. So when you're on the home page of Creative Apple Case, you want to click on My Account. If you are signed into your account, it will take you to your purchase history. If you are not signed in, log into your account and then you will be taken to this page. This is your order history and your available downloads. Now I will walk you through how to download your designs. Choose the design you want to download and hover your mouse over it. Right click and a window will pop up. Navigate down to Save Link As and left click. This window will pop up. Save As. This is the destination where the file will be saved. I'm going to save my files to my desktop. If you would like to choose a different location, simply click on this down arrow and choose the location where you want to save your design. Once you are in the area where you want to save your design, then click Save. The file will download. Let's do that one more time. Choose the design you want to download. Hover your mouse over it, then right click. Left click on Save Link As. Choose the location where you want to save the file, and then click Save. Now that the files have downloaded, let's go through unzipping the files. The program I use puts a Z on the file to show that it is a zipped folder. Other programs show a zipped folder as a folder, a closed folder with a zipper on the front. Files need to be unzipped and extracted from the folder in order to add them to your USB stick. So now I will walk you through unzipping the file. You're going to hover your mouse over the file you want to unzip. Then right click on the, design, uh, on the folder. A window will pop up. For me, my program is 7-zip, so I have to hover over that. Other uh, computers will just say extract, and you can choose to extract here, extract the files here, extract all, or extract them to a specific folder. I'm going to say extract here because I want them to be on my desktop. And a folder pops up that looks like an open folder with papers in it. This is the zipped file that has the Z on it or would have a zipper. This is the unzipped open file. Let's try this again. Hover your mouse over the folder you want to unzip. Right click on it for the pop-up. This time we'll do extract files. Extract to and it shows you a location. You could choose a different location by uh, clicking on the drop down arrow and click OK. So now we have both of our files in open folders. Once we've done that, we are going to double left click. And now we're in the folder. Here I have my USB stick plugged into my computer. If you do not have your USB stick plugged in, now is the time to do it. So we are in the Bro folder, and these are all the file folders that are in the, the format folders that are in the Bro file. I'm going to use the PES format for demonstration. So double left click on that to open the folder. These are the actual designs that you will stitch out. So I'm going to take the 5 inch one and left click on it one time. Then I'm going to left click on it and hold the left click down so I can drag the file into the USB stick. 
hover over it so you can see that the USB stick is highlighted. And then once you are there, you can release your left click. Let's do that one more time. Let's take the six inch file and left click on it. Holding the left click down, we're going to drag the file and hover over USB. You can see that it is highlighted and it, the little plus sign says copy to USB. Once you are hovered there and you see it highlighted, that's where you want to copy it. You can let go of the left click. Now let's make sure that the files are in the USB stick. We're going to click on the USB stick and both files are there that we added. Make sure to remove your USB stick correctly by hovering over the USB and then right click and you want to click on eject. The designs now are there on your USB stick that you can then plug into your machine and get sewing. Thanks for watching.